Good morning. It's day 158. Seven, seven o'clock in the morning. So, sunny out. Well, cloudy sunny. Gonna be doing about 19.5, I think, today. Um, five miles of regular, regular. And then, um, oh, with the pack. And we'll pick up our uh, slack packs uh, five miles from here and slack pack into town, which is another 14-ish. Um, just made sense today, and uh, it's 3,600 up, feet up, and 6,000 down, so it's a heavy work day. So, all right, uh, day 158, I think I already mentioned that, so I'm gonna go ahead and get moving here, because I gotta get down to that road by nine or nine thirty i can't remember so i gotta make some time all right see you soon see you down the trail hanger up look what i just ran across 1900 miles slightly less than 300 left well looks like the fed raised interest rates 0.75 again so market tanked on that Recover the next day it looked like So it should be interesting to see what happens uh, The rest of the year and the outcome of the elections and whatnot um, I mean, I don't really see them doing another 0.75 next time And I think that might cause the market to rally but uh, Probably headed for a recession So that's kind of interesting the market, you know, is forward-looking. That's what they call futures. Um, so it should be interesting to see, you know, I guess, I mean, this is created by, I guess all recessions are kind of created by the Fed, but, um, or something, bubble pop. But uh, it seems like the market's looking for a reason to rally, so... Even though it knows that probably there's a recession most likely going to happen in 2023. It's just raising interest rates just lag. It just lags. It's a lag. I wouldn't call it a lagging, you know, like an indicator. It's, it's not an indicator, but it just takes a while for the repercussions to happen, I guess. We've already kind of seen a slowdown in the housing. Uh, right now, I mean, I'm just... This is just me. I don't give advice, but uh, I would do a little bit of cash laying around. I could throw in the market, but for the most part, I'm 100% invested. So, you know, this, I think the NASDAQ is down like 30% this year. That's amazing opportunity right there. So if you got free cash, put it to work, you know? So. You're not going to get, it's not going to, even when it goes down more, I mean, buy more, right? I mean, you don't get opportunities like this where the market's down 30% a year. And I don't know what's going to happen during the recession. I mean, yeah, the multiples could contract, but, um, ooh, I got some uphill coming up. So for me, I'm just, my dividends, somebody asked, my dividends are 100% reinvested for the entire trip I've been on this trail, so almost six months. Um, I will be turning that off when I get back, um, at least temporarily. But, uh, so yeah, dollar cost averaging, working, DCA working for me day and night. So, oh, maybe go a little bit of a break here. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I pretty much have a little bit of cash on the side that I would, I could deploy. I have no real reason to deploy it right now because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do when I get back. So, um, I have my options account as well. It's nothing going on in there right now. I'm just going to wait until I get back. I'd love to have like a 
pull back on the market again before I go back into some uh, some spy calls. Excuse me, spy uh, spy puts. Um, I do have quite a bit of shares of the Qs. I think like almost 300 or 400 or something like that. And there's just there's not a m lot of money on the cover call side for where they're at, the average. So I'm just kind of waiting there as well. But uh, yeah, that's kind of an update there. Um, you know, I mean, it's very hard to do it out here because I like to watch you know where the market's going and try to get pick my opportunities based off of a chart. And I just don't always have the opportunity. Um, of latitude or whatever you want to call it to do that out here so the October 360s would have been it would have been fine of course you know hindsight you know hindsight's 2040 but um, I still made money on them so I'm not complaining but yeah they would have been 100% out of the money <laughs> so it is what it is 360 is a pretty solid pretty solid level on the spy um, it's gonna take some significant news to push it down below there and, and, and stay there in my opinion so all right well I've been jibber jabbering for a while it's been a while since I've jibber jabbered um, that's just because it's been so much uphill and so much downhill and I can't jibber jabber on those so going to town today and then uh, it's a few more days, all that should be in the Smokies. So obviously by the time you see this, I'll be deep in the Smokies. All right, y'all, I'm going to hang her up. Down here at the road, <clears throat> Allen Gap, right by this national, Cherokee National Forest sign. <laughs> Cherokee people. Yeah. Um, it's been a long time since I've been in the Cherokee National Forest five years but uh just waiting for the uh slack packer which is really just a uh a fellow through hiker and then i guess his daughter's done it as well so that's how we we know him um but he i think he did it four years ago and his daughter did it this year so uh he's gonna slack pack us to hot springs i'm in about a, i was about 40 minutes early on but for no reason um so i'm just relaxing now having some calories so um Maisie should be here soon i think he doesn't miss deadlines usually so he should be pretty quick it is looking kind of gray out right now so i don't know if i'm gonna need my um rain jacket or not but anyways I'm going to go ahead and uh, eat some more and uh, wait for him to show up and then get ready. Still a lot of up, still 3,300 up and it's like 4,200 down now, so cut off a little bit. Um, there is a big mountain between here and Hot Springs, so I'm going to probably end up staying at the Laughing Lodge, Laughing Heart Lodge is where I'll probably stay. I, I know they have a hostel too, but I'll probably end up staying at the lodge. And, uh... And then hopefully go into town, get resupplied. And I haven't quite figured that out because it's two days until you get to Standing Bear after Hot Springs. And I don't know if I want to stay there, but uh, I need to do a resupply, so I need to figure out that out too. So then get prepared for the Smokies. All right, I'm going to hang it up and uh, we'll see you down the trail.
hot springs. This is Hot Springs, North Carolina, by the way. Not Tennessee, but... Easy little bridge. Going to Hot Springs. Downtown. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Just, um, here at the Laughing Heart um, uh, Hostel. <laughs> they have a lodge, but the lodge is booked, so I just stayed at the hostel here. I got a private room, having a pizza. So, I think I'm gonna zero here. I'm just burnt out, so the next two days or two the next 30 miles are like pff, I don't know it's like 8900 a cent or something like that so I just need a break so I'm gonna take a zero here tomorrow go back into town because I'm on the fringe of town go to the outfitter pick up some hydrators I'll call them tomorrow make sure they have what I want the market didn't have what I wanted so the resupply is kind of rough um, the resupply is going to be rough for a while, so anyways, I'll update you tomorrow, maybe. So I'm going to take a zero here and uh, just relax a little bit and get some calories into me tomorrow. So, all right, I'll see you tomorrow or the next day if I don't record on my zero. So, all right, let's hang around.